hello and welcome to my channel a channel where we make structural engineering design simple and easy my name is Olodu Konyedi and I'm your host I want to say a very big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to our channel and those who are yet to subscribe please hit that subscribe button hit the like button i want to say big thank you to everyone who has sent an encouraging words and those who have been asking questions we really appreciate you keep those questions coming so we'll be taking some of the questions that uh, some of our subscribers have asked uh, the first is festus in your boot uh, first of all, you didn't tell us where you are committing from, but uh, please, next time, just respond to this video by telling us where you are committing from. You said in your proto version, you can automatically renumber members sequentially by going to the review tab and selecting the relabeled member option thank you very much first us so if you can get the newer version of um, of proto it will help to renumber the members so that your work is very neat so they keep reviewing this um, version each version that comes it comes with a better feature so try if you're in 2018 try the 2021 and so on they are very good thank you first us for that um observation that you sent for us please keep this type of observation coming or whatever you know that another person can benefit from please and you can send it and we'll be glad to share it thank you very much um evoco Ario, you didn't tell us where you are commenting from. You say, how do I open Prota 2018 with 2021? I doubt whether you can do that. I I think I've tried one, two times, but they, they, they really don't open each other. But I think what you can do is to replicate that same design in 2021. If it's not opening in 2018, try restarting it or remodeling it on 2021. That has been a feature that AutoCAD has been so good with that the upper version opens the lower version. So, but Proto, I think the subsequent ones they are doing can take care of that. But for now, I don't think it can be opened but if it can I, if i check and it can i will still come back here and tell you or before then you can remodel your work on 2021 thank you and otuoye otuoye orubio biao you didn't tell us where you are commenting from please um let us know where you are commenting from you say please well done for this explanation but columns on cantilever slab with no beam is the problem with no beams is the problem okay um, if i get you correctly you are sh telling us about an observation so if it's a problem then throw a beam across so that um but normally i really don't like placing column on cantilever slab i really don't like it i like training a cantilever beam so that you can do that so i will be talking about cantilever beams or slab today um most time uh, if you want to do a cantilever slab you create the axis line axis lines are very important create the axis line in the direction you want to cantilever your your slab to like what is asking if we now create a cantilever i will place a a column on top of the slab it will be he said it will be an issue okay uh, most time to solve that you can create 
a cantilever beam and place your column depending on which one works for you it's fine so um, two ways you can come to slab this type one just click inside it will bring you some dialog box we want a cantilever we click on this cantilever change we change um, we change this cantilever length let's say 900 come to this part click and to the extent that the cantilever would be you click here so with this you have created your cantilever so this is how you create your cantilever so this is an option that you can create your cantilever so if we want to do the beam cantilever we can offset we we can offset let's say we offset um, we offset 900 okay we offset that uh, we can just click property to bring then we click on this I will create our cantilever beam from inside I can deliver them. So with this, you've created your cantilever. We've created your cantilever, and we can we can now create our slab on top of it. So this is typically the two ways we can create cantilever so uh if you still have any question please um let me know but if not we'll stop here and whatever it is please uh, if you are yet to subscribe please hit that subscribe button so that we can put more videos like this until i come again next time i say remain blessed time